Well, hi. It's the middle of May, and it's raining again this week, so it's a little slow. Uh, but I hope we have a good episode for you. We're doing a couple different things. Number one, we are transplanting uh, a whole bunch of starts from this greenhouse out into uh, their permanent growing location. So that's exciting. We also uh, began to uh, work here in the greenhouse covering these earth bags with uh, plaster, or at least mud, mud cob right now. Eventually they'll get plaster. And then uh, we also had a big frost earlier in the week and so I'll walk you through what I did to protect my plants there. We also planted uh, oats out in our field. Otherwise, it's been pretty quiet, so this might be a, a short week. So, without further ado, let's get on with uh, this week of Food Mageddon. So my neighbor, who used to be a market gardener, has a lot of these extra row covers lying about. And he has generously let me use them tonight because we have a record setting frost coming. And so I'm covering up all my currants to try and save them in hopes that we actually get a current harvest this year. So this is what I don't want to lose. These are going to be currants, unless they freeze tonight. Okra is still alive. Looks pretty sad though. Now let's see the tomatoes. Yay, tomatoes survived. Now just uncover them for the day. Let's check out the greenhouse. Ooh, it's nice in here. Oh, everything looks great. Over the last few weeks, I've been working to get this all torn up. This is for my oats, which I threshed and winnowed last night um, and fi finally finished that process that you saw me start in episodes one, two, or three, I forget. And uh, so now I'm seeding all of these oats and uh, crossing my fingers that the deer don't get them this year. I need to reform or rebuild my compost heaps and they were just some pallets that I threw together a couple years ago but now I need to get serious about compost because I don't have enough this year so I need to get making compost that I can use next year already now. Things are starting to uh, slow down in the world at large. We're still unable to go to the grocery store more than twice a month, and our buying power has been cut in a quarter as the prices have risen significantly since we're now in month three or four of uh, this fuel crisis. We are uh, still living off of what we were able to buy before things got really bad and we're really jonesing for our garden to pick up here. We've had a few salads and things like that, but for the most part, 
Uh, we're eating off dried goods. Lots of beans, lots of lentils, things like that. So uh, we're really looking forward to the first real plants and vegetables getting big enough to eat. So <clears throat> we're three months in. How's it going? I think it is going okay. I mean, this is the first. You doing okay? This is the first um, month where it really started to like have an effect, I would say, because of the money situation. You know, because things are so expensive, we couldn't buy so much at the store. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, last I month, mean, we, last month we just buy two for the groceries. Right, right. But this week I actually had to like think about it, and I really only bought what we would usually buy for one week worth of groceries, and that. Was, but are you done? <laughs> um, but that's gotta last us for two weeks instead. But I mean, at the kind same of stuff we can't produce. Like my cheese isn't ripe yet, so we have to buy cheese. Like dessert. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, yeah, like, you know, we don't have access to peppers anymore. Um, you know, but at the same time, it's spring, stuff is starting to come in the garden, so we're able to, you know, do our own stuff. We've got the greens that are coming up, we've been foraging the fiddleheads and dandelion greens and. You know, so we've been able to like supplement with other stuff. Um, so yeah, and I mean, we're happy to get creative with our meals. Yeah, like tonight was bean and uh, bean and pasta soup with greens from the, the garden and mm -hmm. yard. It's actually pretty good. Not good cheese. Be nice with Parmesan cheese. I mean, the other cheese is fine. Yeah, but no, I mean, overall, I think we're Still doing okay. I think we appropriately prepared for this, and you know we're still working through our stockpiling. So, yeah. I mean, and obviously, once we can transition to the garden, we'll be doing that and saving right. as much of the stockpile for the winter as right. we can. But right now, there's it's too <laughs> too early to be getting a lot out of the garden. Although, hopefully, at this time next year, the greenhouse will have been going all winter, and hopefully, we'll have stuff in the greenhouse that's ed you know like three or four months ahead of what the garden is. You're not pooping, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Find out. <laughs> Ow! Any worries about next month? Uh, the, the near term future? Uh, I mean, food prices are just gonna keep going up, but- Unless it'll be available. Our, uh, our bill should be going down. That'll be nice. Because, you know, yeah. you know, the more we are into the summer, the more we're going to be producing our own stuff. I can't wait for potatoes. I know I miss potatoes. I wanted to eat some of the seed potatoes, but, <coughs> but I knew it would be one point to get on the ground now while we have other things to eat. <laughs> You're a ham. <coughs> Finally time to plant out eggplants and cucumbers. attached reusable, recyclable, compostable uh, twine to stakes and those stakes go up to the ceiling of the hoop house. I ran out of those uh, individual metal stakes so now I'm using wooden stakes, one per every two mounds. Uh, these will be cucumbers and um, there will be a V of string between them and once they're tall enough I will attach them to that string and they'll crawl their way up and uh, Drop a whole bunch of cucumbers down for me, I hope. Uh, 
So for you not nuts out there, I'm uh, using an anchor hitch with two uh, half hitches on the top. It means two loops around the post. Pull the string all the way through both those loops. And then thrown off two half hitches. At the bottom, I'm using a clove hitch. Again, just for you knot nuts who really are interested in knots. And now, a whole bunch of eggplants. Over the last few days I've been attaching chicken wire to the edge of these earth bags and these earth bags are basically grain bags full of clay, uh, a binder like a straw, um, a little bit of sand, a little bit of hydrated lime filled and then tamped and then they have rebar driven through them and um, barbed wire between each layer to act kind of like velcro um, and so these have basically built a retaining wall and now I'm going to cover this with a plaster. And I'm starting out with my brown coat, which is mostly clay and sand with a little bit of uh, chopped straw mixed in. And this all gets spread on the wall and allowed to dry. It's just been a few weeks now since I did my mushrooms, probably. Oh, I'll have to post a link to it. But if you look right here, see this white thread-like stuff? This is the mycelium. So it has started to actually spread through. I was getting a little despondent because I've checked this bag every week with no luck. But this week there's actually mycelium growing. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> I just, <laughs> I hadn't taken the bag apart. Look at, watch. Ready? <laughs> I've just been looking at the top. Look at that mycelium. <laughs> Why didn't I look at the bottom, dum-dum? <laughs> I was so disappointed because I was going to have to go on the, I was going to have to make the show about how it didn't work and there you go, that's mushrooms for you. And it's working! Oh my gosh, that is just beautiful. So hopefully, that means we're going to start getting mushrooms. It smells like mushrooms even. Alright, well, I'm going to have to move on to the next steps. Maybe I'll show you next week. Time to plant fava beans.
Well, thanks for tuning in to another week of Food Mageddon. Uh, it was a, another busy one. Uh, we got more coming up next week. I'll be working on the greenhouse to get more of the walls done. I've got more uh, planting to do. Next week you'll see me planting corn and transplanting a lot more out of the greenhouse. So it's the spring and that's just what everything is all about. So it's going to be a lot more planting and uh, maybe I'll get some new infrastructure projects going or other things as well. So check back next Friday for the next episode. Uh, be alerted to that by subscribing below. Obviously check our, our website lowtechinstitute.org for updates on the blog and other things that we've been uh, doing. You can uh, reach out to me. I'm Scott at lowtechinstitute.org. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. Our handle is low underscore techno. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, all the, you know, the social medias. I guess social media is already plural. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a good, safe week out there, taking care of yourselves and your communities. So, all right, take care.